Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So it's the last round of Ponds of Loki before the new update where the turns get capped to 9, save skills don't work on defense, advance gets an extra 100 point increase to base score and some other changes, but so we had to go out with a bang, so I farmed a bit. And we got our new personal best score of 14,453, which is pretty darn good for intermediate. The run actually could have been a 14.5k plus if we got lucky, but we'll, this is the brigade. Mostly friend units at this point, but the main engine um, that gets everything going is of course Duma. Noe or Seros, typically we want Noe just because she has more HP. Mur for the Flying Dragon. Typically, Tiki or Athune. We, Athune helps out with armored effectiveness. Tiki has a bit more HP and speed. Brave Hector or Duo Ephraim. Typically, we'll, if we can't find Brave Hector, we start out with Duo Ephraim and then we transition to Hector or Florina. Um, that Ephraim doesn't have too much HP, but his literal his only life purpose is to deal with Kemp's. <laughs> Which is kind of silly, but I mean I, I do see him quite a bit, so. And then there's a bunch of filler. Typically we like to go Shershi, but more recently we've been getting Gunter more. So and then usually we like Kemp over at Ulua just because Ven and Edge is pretty strong. And then our last slot is typically Sella for Sylvia, just for HP botting, but we can also use Double Duma. It's just up to how the run goes. So let's see what we get here. We could totally just break our record. <laughs> Not looking like it so far, but I think we'll do this and Mulligan. Yeah, it would have been better to probably pick up Ephraim there. Elwood's not the worst unit to pick up, but he just kind of falls off late game. So, I think we go like this just to get the weapon combo going. And I don't think it's going to be a good run unless we see a crud ton of dragons this upcoming turn that costs two. Uh, we don't. We see Seros, so I guess we'll pick up both for the combo. Uh, we can drop one and go Nagi over Sothis for the armor, the armor movement pair. Well, I guess we could have gone Sothis there too, but we're HP botting, so <laughs> kind of don't want to do that. So we're gonna, we're doing okay so far. We're not getting everything we would like though. No flyers yet. Uh, we get, see another cat, we'll pick up Elwood for that. At this point, it's kind of like, do we gamble or do we just go for trios at this point? I think we probably just invest a little bit into Ephraim. So we'll pick up an Ephraim and Mulligan. And of course, that's when all the units show up. <laughs> uh, so we can trio El or trio Ephraim. That's not ideal. We could do the crazy switcheroo where... No, we just lose too many points from that. We could go Mer for the combo. For the flying combo, but I don't think it's worth it. I think temporarily we're going to trio Ephraim. And then pick up Sothis. And then we're going to replace Sothis. It's not a very optimal play, but it's better than nothing. Do this. This is fine. That's fine, sure. So yeah, not if I was going for a new personal best run, I would have quit a long time ago because at this point I need to be at 3.6, 3.7k. And clearly that hasn't happened yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in Gunter for the double calves permanently now. Um, we could pick up Murr. I'm gonna greed and mulligan. <laughs> because why the heck not? And we kind of dud here. Feels bad. I think we just pick up Sarah's for HP botting reasons. And then we can kick out Sosis and put in Selif, sure. 
Very poor start, uh, unfortunately. I think we just do this every time because armored effectiveness. Let's do this. This, this, that's fine. Saros can go like here. Yeah, what is? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this is just really lagging behind. There's absolutely no way this can be a max scoring run. Now we can do this, but then now we don't have an armor, so let's mulligan, see what we can get. We should get Noe to show up, which is not ideal. We can pick up Duma, sell you, pick up Elwood. And yeah, at this point, if we have so many units here at 29, this is such a dead run. <laughs> we'll see how much we can get out of it. Uh, but Tiki here is just extremely annoying here. I think we just use Saros for... We just do that every time. I don't know, that's probably not a good idea. We got speed that every time. Merc and... You can go here, here, here's probably better. Duma can do that. Yeah, this is, we're gonna lose some points on column one, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, uh, that, that uh, ridiculous run of 14.4K, uh, you know, we were, we were, I knew we were on pace for something ridiculous because after, at the end of turn eight, we were already at 10k. <laughs> so I was like, this is not a normal run. All right. So at this point, uh, things are really not ideal here. I think we actually just straight up kick out Selif. And I guess we're high rolling for something. Kempf over Elowood, maybe. Uh, I think we do this. This will guarantee we at least get something. <laughs> uh, AKA some units over level 30. But meanwhile, Duma and is still stuck at a suboptimal place. Um, this is fine. Horan is definitely annoying here. I think we always lunge. That's interesting. <laughs> Uh, you don't see that every day. I think it's just double doom question. That doesn't seem right. I think this is better. But yeah, not a very great run, but that's what happens when you do random runs. But just inevitably. Like, think about it. At, at the end of this turn, I should have 10k if I'm on pace for the other runs, so... It's, it's quite a noticeable difference. <laughs> When you get to that point, um, I think we're gonna greed super hard in Mulligan here, and of course we never get rewarded for greeting. Feels bad. Um, I guess we have to pick up Ephraim or something here. Could, yeah, like the facts, we have neither Sylvia. We don't have Brave Hector or anything here, <laughs> so we're just suffering right now. Um, only one armor as well. Let's go mulligan again for greed reasons, and we don't get anything, of course. Uh, yeah, so our combo's tanked, everything's tanked. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, totally ideal. This is probably okay. This is okay, not great. This is better. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll make do with this. This, this will work. I think I made a slight miscalculation on order of attacks. Yeah. But it didn't matter except for the fact Gunter got attacked. Alright, so I guess we'll trail you. You can finally get it in here. That was a huge lag spike. And of course we're going to get nothing, nothing. Alright, we got to pick up Duma now. Noe at this point is, it's probably worth replacing Saros with Noe, but we're going to greed it out. We're going to greed really hard in Mulligan, which uh, we don't get rewarded for it at all. 
That is not an optimal play if you haven't figured that one out. Um, ideally, I think this is best here. That's fine. Cyrus on this column's okay, except for the bonfire part. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, this is fine. This all looks okay. I guess we'll stick with this. I guess an optimization was, is if we can put in Duma, but there's no benefit to doing so. We just did not see Brave Hector at all this run so far, so it's just going to be a very poor scoring run, naturally. I think we just go Selif here. Uh, I think we should go Elwood as well, but we're going to not. And of course, the next thing that happens is Elwood shows up. What's new? <laughs> we could go for the guaranteed trio, but we're just going to greed and greed. Well, Brave Factor now shows up. Uh, I think it's worth it at this point. Like, he even has more HP than Ephraim. <laughs> That's how bad Ephraim's HP is in this, in this brigade. Yeah, we're just getting absolutely memed on. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, not great. This is okay. This is best. Um, I'm gonna outspeed. I guess that's okay. The safe procs that way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Duma? Darn it, he outspeeds Tiki. What is this? <laughs> okay. What do we want to do in this column? I guess we could put Hector there, actually. That's just not a bad idea, right? Then we can have Gunter in this lane. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess we could have Murr in this lane? This, that's, that's suspicious. This is uh, suspicious if I've ever seen anything. <laughs> Uh, something went wrong here. Something's not right. That I'll say as much. Yeah, Gunter attacked first. Something didn't feel right there. Um, I think we just go Murr here. Get the double trio. I think at this point, leveling up Hector's probably good here. But I think it's better off for us to just pick up Elwood. Um, okay, now for the setup. But basically what, uh, whatchamacallit, what Brave Hector enables is player phase giga nuking is the whole point. Um, okay, this is actually really bad. This is better. This lane's really bad right now. I think we have to do this every time. Do something like that. Okay, so this is a problem. This is better then. It's certainly better. Uh, I probably missed something again. We'll worry about that later. Save skill procs, that procs. Okay, yeah, that was a bit another order issue. Uh, we get the Eloa trio, that's great. I think we just pick up Saros here. We're just going for trios at this point. Um, we just get one, that's it. And yeah, we're just shy of stuff. Uh, Duma replacing anyone is just not optimal here. So we'll just sell in Mulligan for no reason. And we got our last setup here. I think it's just... Is it Selif against Robin here? That seems wrong. I feel like you have to go Elwood there, but then he attacks into Naga. I guess Naga doesn't have too much attack, but that means Elwood's taking damage, which is not ideal. Here we always go like this. And then we can do something like this. Uh, we have to have Mer 1v1 Ishtar. I don't know if we one shot. Should probably calc that, but we're not going to. <laughs> uh, Saros can go here. 
I think, uh, what's better here? This is probably actually better. Yeah, that's actually way better. Now that I think about it, this is much better. Gunter in this lane, sure. Uh, I guess the main problem is... Zelof doesn't outspeed, yikes. We gotta do this then, which means we want Tiki somewhere else. There's no real good spot for Tiki. I guess we can do this actually, this is fine. Then we can do something like this? No, that... Something's just wrong here, I don't... It, we're just... I don't know. I think this is wrong, because I think Saros is going to get... attacked the wrong way. I think we just do this. We're assuming Brave Hector kills Fallen Tiki, but yeah, Elwood took some damage there. That was what I expected. We still come out with a 14.1k run, though. That kind of just goes to show you how much this brigade can potentially score. Like, that was a terrible run, and we still got a 14.1. <laughs> uh, this, this team can be pretty fire when it gets going, because, like, Noe and Duma, pretty strong HP botting. Hector just, like, hard carries a lot of stuff and then we have more hp bots like generally speaking our average hp stat on our brigade is typically around closer to closer to like 60 i would say on a good day um so it is quite the powerful brigade it's not broken by any means it doesn't have but it's pretty consistent uh, as, as you saw that we had a garbage run, but still came out 14.1. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ethan Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!